Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So today's video is gonna be a little bit different, it's special uh, because Canon recently sent me their camera which is the EOS R6 also with the RF 50mm f1.2 to test out. So I've got this camera system for one week and I'm about to test on some occasional events and stuff. So let's get started. Okay, so currently this video is recorded with the Canon EOS R6 and the 50mm f1.2 shot by Aizmin and we are about to test some of these uh, shots handheld for now as currently he's doing it handheld but later I will be using a gimbal Okay, so currently I'm using a servo focus and also the focus zone is face tracking so I'll be walking around and sometimes if you are not able to capture the eye or track the eye, it will capture the face or sometimes when I turn back, it will actually uh, focus on the head there will be a square box on the head, the face or the eye depending on the subject sometimes if you are wearing mask, it can also track your eyes so yeah, that's one good thing about the current technology that Canon has been uh, updating. So for today's agenda, we'll be doing some videos on the Ronin S2. Um, it's currently going to be dark soon, so I'll be using the mostly shot at f1.2 to get some b-rolls of um, some nature or whatever elements that I can find over here. So let's get started. So that's one thing that I realized when I mount this Canon R6 on the DJI RS2 It feels like a perfect balance Like you don't really need to fine tune a lot of things And also for this video that I'm shooting right now I'm not gonna add any post stabilization So you all can see how it looks like um, Right out of the camera Because I feel that there's no sudden jerking Like up and down or left and right um, yeah, it's like really smooth when I'm doing an orbit, especially with a 50mm. So of course, I'm currently activated the IBs on the camera body. But yeah, there's no, there's no OSS or any stabilization on the lens itself. What I'm gonna show y'all is all the raw footages with some color grading maybe, but no stabilization or anything. So keep a lookout. Alright, so currently I'm shooting a lens flare for my mobile phone so I'm gonna test how it looks like if there's like any flare a flashlight or you know direct sun in this case I'm using a mobile flash and I bump up my ISO so I'm gonna test the autofocus like can it track the subject and yeah looks like it struggles yep let's do a closer one I kind of like how the lens flare actually builds up like the shape of the lens flare is not distracting but kind of too much okay so currently I'm shooting at the ISO 25600 with an aperture of f10 to get that starburst so yeah let's see how it performs with the autofocus and how the quality of the lens flare shows up
Okay, so uh, a short review of this camera system. From what I realized that I feel the stabilization is quite good, especially when doing orbiting shots like from left to right, that half semicircle thingy. So with a 50mm, I actually didn't get a lot of uh, robotic or jerky kind of uh, move like up and down or left and right while you are panning. So yeah, I, I really love how the stabilization works. Also um, with the autofocus, I feel like um, it's general for most cameras that sometimes it goes hunting when it's low light. But with the face tracking on, I actually realized that it actually works really well like it's comparable to sony or sometimes slightly better than what i'm using right now the sony a7 IV. Uh, because the face tracking even though it's low light as you can see from the footages that i shot um, it actually have that square on the face if you cannot detect the eye you can actually see that it's actually focusing on the face even though if you are facing the back side it will track your head instead as for the colors wise, I really love how Canon colors have been doing so well since the DSLR version. Um, I wish Sony have this better color size because I really love how the color actually, um, the saturation, the sharpness of the lens or even the body, I'm not too sure. But yeah, as of today, the video quality is good. You can see it later on or somewhere in between the videos. But as photos wise, probably um, they'll need some improvement from the R6. Maybe some firmware updates with the focus system or something. So yeah, that's all for today's test. Alright guys, so to conclude the R6 review, I would say that this is actually a good... Uh, I wouldn't say it's a beginner camera, but it's an intermediate where you can actually get good qualities in terms of the features, technologies, uh, AF, uh, tracking and all those kind of stuff just that um, maybe it's not really um, good for you know printing because it's 20 megapixel but if you were to use for digital marketing social media it should not be an issue but other than that I've tested a lot of different stuff from low light to video to photo AF tracking and all those kind of things um, especially the face tracking is really good even in low light as you can see from the previous video that I shot with Azmin, um, it was actually tracking the face and the eye. Uh, when I turn back, it actually tracks my head instead. So yeah, that's a good plus point from this camera itself. Also, other than that, I'll be bringing this camera system, the R6 with uh, 50mm to International Auto Modified Singapore held, gonna be held at Expo. It's basically a modified car tuning expo thingy so it's been a while so I'm gonna shoot some photos with the R6 while the video part is gonna be shot on the A74 and 2470GM2 so stay tuned for the video probably the video is gonna be out by the time you are watching this review so if the video is out please do check it out and also um, there's gonna be an upcoming review of the A7S3 they have tried um, low light and videos and multiple stuff also upcoming projects i'm gonna do more shoots of course so i hope you all enjoy this short or long review vlog thingy yeah hope you all enjoy this content don't forget to stay tuned until the end of this video to check out the footages the photos um, whatever that i'm gonna put at the end of this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more content so until the next one guys peace out